Hello friends, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. So this is an update about, you know, UVCE, which is called University Vishwasharya College of Engineering. So as you know, it's a very old established college and uh, now Chief Minister has, you know, inaugurated the new building of the college and it's already on the path of autonomy. So this, it will become, UVCE will not be part of Bangalore University, but it will be now an autonomous institute and uh, Karnataka Chief Minister Baswaraj Bomai has you know announced that government is commit committed to develop UVC in par with the IIT. So it will become a next IIT of Karnataka, right? It will be at par with IIT or IS Indian Institute of Science, right? In next three years, right? That's all. So by that time you are going to pass your engineering, it will become you know in par with the top notch institutes in India like IITs, and it will be hundred ranked under top fifty you know NIRF colleges in india right and this he was speaking on the inaugural event of a newly established uvc buildings right with a new look right on their own campus and government has you know already completely given a, a required assurance that they will give a financial support quality faculty will be recruited and a world-class infrastructure will be developed as at par with any iits right this is one of the look of the newly you know developed building and then the whole campus has seen the change now, apart from that you know uh, the other changes they have also higher education ministry has also given the board of governors you know of a new board of governors for this college right so we they have appointed muthu raman you know as a governor and the chancellor of university so Muthu Raman, who, who, who was the chairperson of Tata International, Tata Steel Company, right? He is appointed as the university uh, governor to look into the autonomy of the college and make it as a best class institute in uh, India, right? And uh, this is, as you know, 105 year old university and the placements have also, you know, improved a lot in this current year itself. So earlier there were 435 students who got placed and now the total number of offers were 652 students, right? So 652 is a big number because the total, you know, seat capacity in this college is very low because old colleges have a very low uh, seat matrix and uh, compared to the newer generation in a private university who, which have thousands and two thousands of seats. So it has a low seats and in that low seats, 650 students have got, you know, placed. And apart from this UVC, it also government in, in the preparation of six other engineering colleges in Karnataka in the lines of IIT. So at a time, there will be seven IITs quality of institution in Karnataka and they may also call, you know, KIT, K -I -T, which is Karnataka Institute of Technology. Others will be called like a KIT. So a lot of students are asking for the option entry compared to the other private universities take you know UVC, UVC is the best and UVC will remain the best and compared to the other private university you may find in the similar ranks range right so that's what a small update I wanted to cover take care and have a great day.